page two, paragraph page 128. Make a phone call. Okay. So that was the end. Make a phone call. Okay. So we start at stage three now. Okay. Okay. Stage three. New work. All new work. Okay. 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 So here we go. Let's have stage three new work. Okay. Here we go. Let's start. Repeat. Chop. Keeper Dan. Keeper Dan. Keeper Dan. More expensive than. More, more expensive than. Very good. Okay, listen. Cheaper than and more expensive than are adjectives. Yeah. For example, this this watch costs one thousand pesos, and this pen costs fifty pesos. Oh, very expensive. So <laughs> this this pen is cheaper than this watch, and this watch is more expensive than this pen. Okay, let's practice. Is your okay. handkerchief more expensive? Than your shoes. Is your handkerchief more expensive than your shoes? No, no my handkerchief. No, my, can, can my handkerchief isn't more, isn't expensive, more expensive than, than my than, shoes. Than my shoes. It's cheaper than my shoes. It's cheaper than my shoes. Is a Rolls Royce cheaper than a Ford? Is a Rolls Royce cheaper than a Ford? No, a Rolls no, Royce. A, a Rolls Royce isn't cheaper than isn't a Ford. Cheaper than Ford. It's more, it's expensive, more expensive than a Ford. Than than afford. Is your town a more expensive place than New York? Is your town a more expensive place than New York? No, my no, town. My town isn't a more expensive place. Isn't a more expensive than place. Place than New York. Expensive then, place than New York. Expensive place than, than New York. The place New York. One more. No, my town. No. My town isn't a more isn't a expensive more, place. Isn't a more expensive place than, than New, York. New York. It's oh. a cheaper place. It's a cheaper place than, than New, York. New York. Very good. Okay, next repeat. The cheapest. The cheapest. The most expensive. The most expensive. Very good. Okay. Listen. The cheapest and the most expensive are also adjectives. For example, this pen costs 100 pesos, and this book costs 500 pesos, and my watch costs 1,000 pesos. So this pen is the cheapest thing I have in my hand, and this watch is the most expensive thing I have in my hand. Yes. Okay, so let's practice. Is the Suzuki the most expensive car in your country? Is the Suzuki the most expensive car in your country? No. The Suzuki, no. the Suzuki isn't, isn't the more the most expensive the, car. Isn't, isn't the, the most the mo expensive car? Isn't the most expensive car in my country? In, in my country, it's the cheapest car. It's the cheapest car. Omar, it's the in cheapest my, car in my country. It's, it's the cheapest car in my country. Wait, what's the cheapest thing in your room? What's the cheapest thing in your room? My Pen, pencil. Mm, my pen is, is the cheapest, cheapest thing things in my room. In my room. Very good. What's the most expensive thing you're wearing? What's the most expensive thing you're wearing? My. 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 My ring. <laughs> is the most expensive it's more, it's expensive most, thing. Is it the most expensive thing? I'm wearing. I'm wearing. Very good. Next, repeat syllable. Syllable. Comparative. Comparative. Superlative. Superlative. Very good. Okay, listen. The word syllable is a noun. Words have may have one or more syllables. Adjective in English have comparative and superlative forms. We use the comparative form of an adjective for comparing two people or things. And we use the superlative if we compare for more than Two people or things. Yeah. When an adjective has one syllable, one syllable means like cheap, run, uh, cheap, nice. We make the comparative by adding the letter er, and we say oh, cheaper, yes. cheaper than. Yes. Yes. We make the superlative by adding the letters est, and we say the cheapest. Yes. When an adjective has three or more syllables, like 
expensive. So that's three syllables. Expensive. We do not add ER. Instead, we make the comparative by using the word more. So more expensive. Yes. For superlative, we do not add EST. Instead, we use the words the most. And we say the most expensive. Yes. Okay, let's practice. What's the comparative of long? What's the comparative of long? The comparative the compare, of long. The, compare, uh, the comparative compare, of long. The comparative of long, of long is, is longer. Longer. Very good. What's the comparative of beautiful? What's the comparative of beautiful? The comparative, the comparative of beautiful. Of beautiful is more beautiful. Ah, uh, it's more beautiful. Right. What's the superlative of small? What's the superlative of small? The superlative, the superlative of, of small, small is, is smallest. the smallest. Very good. What's the superlative of expensive? What's the superlative of expensive? The superlative, the superlative of, of expensive, expensive is, is the, the most, most expensive. expensive. Very good. Why do we say cheaper than but not expensive than? Why do we say cheaper than but not expensive than? We say cheaper than. We say cheaper than. But not expensive than. But not we don't expensive say than. Not, not expensive than. Expensive than. Expensive than. Because the adjective cheap. Because the adjective cheap has only one syllable. Has uh, has one <clears throat> has only one syllable. Whereas the adjective Whereas expensive, the adjective, uh, expensive, the adjective of expensive has, has three uh, syllables. Three syllables. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Above. 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 Below. Above. Below. Very good. Okay, listen. The words above and below are both preposition. For example, regarding my mouth. My nose above my mouth. My chin's below my mouth. Okay, so let's practice. Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Your nose your above nose your mouth. Above your mouth. Where's my chin? Where's my chin? Your chin's so chin below, your, below mouth. your mouth. Where's the ceiling? Where's the ceiling? The ceiling's the ceiling. above our heads. Above our heads. Are my feet above the table? Are my feet above the table? No, your no, feet aren't your feet above the table. Aren't above the table. They are below, below the table. The table. Very good. Next repeat. January. January. February. Hmm? February. Uh, February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. Where are we going to get listen? The names of the months of the year are January, February, April. March, April, May, June, July, August, April. September, April. October, November, and December. Okay, so let's practice. Tell me the names of the months of the year. Tell me the names of the months of the year, please. The names of the, the names months of, of the year. The the, the, the months. names of the the names of the months of the year are ah uh, January, January February, February March April May April June May July, June, July August, August September, September October, October November, November and, and December very good next will be the last last next 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 very good. Okay, listen. The words last and next are both adjectives. For example, this month September. Last month was August. Next month will be October. Okay, let's practice. What's this month? What's this month? This month. This month is September. What was September. last month? What was last month? Last month was. Last month was uh, August. August. What will next month be? What will next month be? Next month. The will next be... month will will be uh, no, October. Oh, October. What will the month after next be? What will the month after next be? The month after next. The, the, the month, month after next. Uh, the month after next. Will be November. Will be November. What was the month before last? What was the month before last? 
the month, the month before, last before last was when was uh, July. July. Very good. Let's repeat. A.M. A.M. P.M. P.M. Midday. Midday. Latin. Latin. Then. Then. Very good. Okay, listen. After the time, after we say the time, we can put the letters A.M. and or P.M. The letters A.M. mean antemeridium. It's a Latin word. It means an old English word. Antemeridium. Whereas the letters PM means post meridium. Okay, ante meridium and post meridium. They're both it's Latin words. Latin, uh, Latin words. Word. Yeah. Um, old it means old English. Old English word in Europe. Yeah. In English, AM means before midday, before twelve noon. So in the morning, right? Whereas PM means after midday or after twelve noon, after after lunch. We say PM. Okay. PM, yes. For example, we generally eat lunch at 12 PM. Or we say we generally eat lunch at midday or at noon. Latin is an old language in Europe. Let's practice. What do the letters AM mean after the time? What do the letters AM mean after the time? The letters AM the letters mean, a -M -M mean, mean ante meridian. Ante meridium. Ante meridium. After the time. After the time. Very good. What do the letters PM mean after the time? What do the letters PM mean after the time? The letters. The, PM, the letters PM mean. PM mean. Post meridium. Uh, post meridium. Meridium. After the time. After the time. Very good. What's the difference between AM and PM? What's the difference between AM and PM? The difference between the difference between AM and PM is that we is that use AM PM for the, for the time for the time af, before midday after before uh, be, before midday before midday and PM for and the time PM for the time after midday after midday very good okay next listen. Then, the word then is an adverb. It means next. Then, next. When we then use next. Uh, when we use a.m. and p.m., we say the hour first. When we read the time, we say the hours. Then the minutes. And then a.m., p.m. We, we don't say half past 3 p.m. No, just half past 3 or half past 4. If we say a.m., p.m., we say 3.30 p.m. or 4.30 p.m. Okay, let's practice. Do we say 20 to 4 a.m.? Do we say 20 to 4 a.m.? No, we don't no, say we don't 20 say. to 4 a.m. 20 to 4 a.m. A.m. What do we say? Uh, we say 3.40 a.m. 3.40 a.m. 3.40 a.m. Wait, what time do you eat breakfast? What time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast I at eat, I eat breakfast at 8:30 a.m. a.m. What time do you eat dinner? What time do you eat dinner? I eat dinner I eat at dinner at 9:20 uh, p.m. p.m. Very good. Next repeat a lot of a lot of both and both and Very good. Okay, listen. We use a lot of instead of using many and much. Okay, remember, we use the word many for things we can count. And we use much for things we cannot count. But we can use a lot of for both things we can count and things we can't count. Okay? Instead of using many and much. So, for example, instead of saying many books, we can say a lot of books. Yes. Instead of saying much water, we can say a lot of water. Yes. Okay, we use the construction both and for two people or things. For example, my right hand is on the table. My left hand is on the table. Both my hands are on the table. So we can say both my left and right hand are on the table. Another example is I can't speak both Chinese and Filipino. I speak only Filipino. Let's practice. Okay. 
What can we say instead of many and much? What can we use instead of many and much? We can use a we lot of. Use a lot of. Instead of many and much. Instead of many, many and, and much. Are there a lot of people in a small village? Are there a lot of people in a small village? No, no there, there aren't, aren't a, a lot, lot of people, people in a in my in a small village. Kiosk, small village. There are few people. There are few people in a, in a small village. Village. Very good. Do the English drink a lot of coffee? Do the English drink a lot of coffee? No, no the English. In, the English don't, don't drink a lot of coffee. Drink a lot of coffee. They drink they a lot of tea. They drink they a, lot of tea. a lot of tea. Yeah, they don't eat tea. It's like bitter. Okay. When we say mm -hmm. the English, it means the people in Europe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next. Uh, uh, no, uh, sorry. Mm? Uh, PM and the sake and the PM and the and the AM. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't. Uh, we can't use. Uh, uh, no. We can't use at. Uh, Say. And the seven, and um, uh, five, five minute, five to eight p.m. a.m. No, we can't use that. Let's say five to eight, like that. Five, five to eight. Five to eight. Uh huh. So if you want to use a.m. p.m., so you say it's uh seven fifty five a.m. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but if you oh. use five minutes, like five minutes to eight, so five minutes to eight, that's it. Uh, yeah, five, but, minute, five minutes to eight uh, uh -huh. a.m. is okay. No, you don't say a.m. Uh, yeah. If you use that, if you use that structure, you can't use a.m. p.m. So five to eight or twenty to nine. If you uh, want to use like a.m. p.m., so you use the time first. So for example, oh, it's yes. seven, and then minutes seven fifty-five a.m. or seven fifty-five p.m. So that's five to eight, right? Uh, seven seven fifteen minutes a.m. is okay. Seven fifty a.m. Oh, uh, minutes. Uh, we uh, don't, you don't, we say, don't say that. Yeah, we don't. You don't. We don't say seven fifty minutes. Seven fifty uh, a.m. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Okay, but you use minutes if you use fifty minutes past seven like that. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's continue. So, do you like to see a room with a lot of flowers in it? Do you like to see a room with a lot of flowers in it? Yes or no? No. I don't like to see. I don't like a room to see with a, room a lot of flowers in with it. With a lot of other flowers in it. In it. Do you put a lot of butter on your bread? Do you put a lot of butter on your bread? Yes or no? No. I don't put a I lot, don't put of, a butter lot of butter on my bread. On my bread. Do we use our mouth for both eating and speaking? Do we use our mouth for both eating and speaking? Yes, we use yes, our mouth. Yes, use our mouth for both eating. For both eating and speaking. And speaking. Very good. Can you speak both Chinese and Italian? Can you speak both Chinese and Italian? No. No. I can't. I speak can't uh, speak both Chinese both and Chinese Italian. And Italian. I speak I only. only I speak only Chinese, Chinese. Or I only speak Chinese is also correct. Mm. Okay, next repeat. A lot. A lot. Very good. Okay, listen. A lot is an adverb, which means very much. So a lot means very much. Okay. okay. For example, we can say I, re I like reading books. I like reading books very much. Or we can say I read a lot. I don't go, I to, the, I don't go to the cinema a lot. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's practice. Do you go to the cinema a lot? Do you go to the cinema a lot? Yes, yes or no? I go to cinema the, a lot. Very good. Do you read a lot? Do you read a lot? Yes or no? No, I don't read a lot. Ah, me neither. Okay. Do you, do you <laughs> eat a lot? Do you eat a lot? Yes or no? I don't eat a lot. <laughs> okay. Does she, does she eat a lot? Does she eat a lot? Yes or no? No, she doesn't, she doesn't eat, eat, a, eat lot. a lot. Do you use your mobile phone a lot? Do you use your mobile phone a lot? Yes, I use my mobile, mobile phone, phone a, lot. a lot. My mobile phone a lot. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to your reading. Okay. Okay, very good. So our reading is at stage 2, page 88. And the last headword was side. Okay, so let's start at the next headword. Oh, 88. Uh, page, page 88. 
88. Uh-huh. Oh. And start with the head word smell. Smell. What, what part of the book is it? It's okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's stage two. Stage two, so page no, 88. It, Page eighty-eight. Uh -huh, eight, okay. eight. What part of the book is this? Ah, not not that one. Uh, mm -hmm. next next head word, smell. Yes, smell. Smell. Oh, now sorry. after after those questions, there's like the head word smell. What am I doing? Okay. Smell like that. Oh, smell. Okay. Sorry. You see, page 88. So on page 88, on the top, you see front, back, top, bottom, side, right? Mm. Oh, no. oh yeah. I, I, oh, I can see. You see it? Okay. What am I doing? Yes. You're smelling your, your wrist. What do we smell with? We smell with our noses. Has the table got any smell? No, the table hasn't got any smell. Uh, no. Next, What's read the, read the head word. Address street. Address street. Yeah, you have to read that every time, okay? Next. Um, I can't say that in uh -huh. my smartphone. <laughs> mm, okay. in, sorry. No problem, no problem. Oh. What's uh, the address of this One more. book? What's the address? What's, what's the address of this book? The, the address of this school is uh, 3 Oxford Very good. Street, London, W. <laughs> so many, so long address. Okay, next. What's your address? Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, what's your address? My address is two one, two one, king. Hmm? I just say one two three street. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. My address is one two three street. Very good. Okay. Next ninety. Many few. Ninety. Mm. Many food. Uh, are there many people in a small village? No, there aren't many people in a small village. There are few people in a small village. Are there few people in a large city? No, there aren't uh, no, few people in a large city. There are many people in a large city. How you and uh, how you and I got many pants? No, you and I haven't got many pants. We've got few pants. Are there few matches in a match? In a matchbox. No, there aren't few matches in a matchbox. Mm. There are many matches in a matchbox. Have you got any friends? Yes, I've got my uh, I've got some friends. Do you think the people in your town are friendly? No, I don't think that the people <laughs> in my town are friendly. They're unfriendly. Really? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Are the countries of Europe generally friends are now? the country of um, Europe generally friends now? Yes, the countries of Europe are generally friends now. Okay. Okay, so we stop there for today. Okay. Yes.